It's a Saturday and the squeaky chair has started already. It's the 16th of October 2021. A very warm welcome to the channel. I do have some very exciting news about the mugs and I will tell you that towards the end of the video or you can just skip there directly. But some logical thinking about the Free Gorgid Dam, other things about China and uh, some recommendations to some YouTube channels just to show you what may happen in a certain situation along with the weather and some of the comments as well and of course if you do like this a thumbs up would be fantastic put my thumbs up there I'm using the icon to see what it's like and a subscription would be excellent magnificent fantastic and we have some pandas as well well we have one panda let's do it now the title of this show free gorges dam or part of the title of the show the free gorges dam output at maximum output and why have i come to this conclusion well it's quite logical at the moment the level of the dam uh, as speaking is about 173 172 173 and in Chongqing I'll show you all this later is at 174 meters 600 kilometers west up the Three Gorges Reservoir or the Yangtze Reservoir and floodgates are not open as far as we know the coal situation in China seems to be getting quite serious in a way of the rolling blackouts and there's there are imports coming in from Indonesia, Russia and Mongolia. China does produce coal, but we said before it's of low grade. Winter is just around the corner. So all these energy machines, buildings, whatever it is, I just can't think of the word, are at maximum output and they're not releasing any sluice gates or they're not releasing any water from the floodgates or the sluice gates. So the turbines, I could say, I could imagine, are at maximum output and this is 24-7. So usually what would happen if, if you go back last year, 2020, the levels would be at about 169 by now and they'd be like taking the water slowly and the sluice gates would be open and it would be producing electricity but not on this scale because there wasn't any situation last year of the coal. It only started to happen I would say Jan sorry, December 2020 and January 2021. So all these outlets of power solar, wind, hydro, whatever it is, nuclear, are trying to compensate for the lack of coal in China. Is China going to be free of pollution by 2060, as they promised? I doubt it very much. They're just going to um, rewrite the figure to say everything's perfect. And China, as we know, is the biggest output of, or the biggest world polluter or the world's biggest polluter let's have a look at the level so you can get the conclusion of this and sort of my way of thinking if you disagree um, please let me know and put it in the comment forms it's just interesting to get both sides of the story as we are an international channel but let's do them right now okay this is yes in chinese and i apologize for it but third from the bottom, you can see the three gorges and it is at 172.70. When it's green, it means it's gone down a little bit. And the first one on the list at the very top is Chongqing, Kutan, the reservoir, not the reservoir, the beginning of the three gorges reservoir is up. When it's red, it means the level has gone up at 174 point something nine again my glasses are not very good and here you can see um, 
the free gorge is down, first of all. You can see the levels in the 24-hour period. The next screen is what? I think it is at Chongqing and there, another 24-hour period. And right next door you can, to the free gorges is a place called Yingchang. Yingchang is, it did get shoot up quite high and then it went down by a couple of meters. The webcam is like this. Now, I have banged on for a couple of days about uh, disclaiming the fact that the Free Gorges Dam has gone, disappeared, collapsed, whatever. And I did give you the facts and figures related to this. How do I know this? Because I've sort of been studying this thing for over a year, 15 months. But there is a video that I will give you a link to in the description below, which gives a simulation of the collapse of the dam all the way to near enough Wuhan stroke Shanghai. This was made supposedly by Chinese or engineers in mainland China. And it sort of begs the question, why did they actually make this video? Why did they do this animation? So please go and have a look at that because it's quite interesting. It's about six minutes long. There are different versions on the internet and you can get a English translation. I think there's an Italian, French and German, but you can just get the general gist of it by looking at the animation alone. It's very interesting indeed. Now, the floods in China, apart from the dissettlement of people's homes, also the farmland in uh, many of the provinces in 2021. As the floods hopefully come to an end for this year, we can look at the recall of that. And let me read you an article that I found on the internet and the cost of in the cost in American dollars of what it's going to cost. And are there going to be any food shortages? Well, somehow China always manages to survive and things not really advertised on Chinese state media. But let's have a read anyhow. The province experienced its worst flooding this month since records began. Meteorological official Mr. Wang said in a news conference on Tuesday, adding the province's average rainfall in October was 13 times that of the same period in the normal year. At least 1.75 million people have been affected by the flooding, which has caused at least 19,500 houses to collapse and damage another 18,200 homes. Local emergency management official Wang said at a news conference, yada, 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 yada. According to Wang, the heavy rainfall and floods have caused an estimated direct economic loss of 5 billion Chinese yuan RMB, 775, 775 million US dollars in the province. Now that's just one province alone. The heavy rains have also forced closures of 60 coal mines in different provinces like Shaanxi, according to a statement released by the provincial government's Emergency Management Bureau. Shaanxi is the is China's largest coal mining hub, according accounting for a quarter of the country's coal population. This is something I found out quite recently, and it's related to the fish in the Yangtze River. Sturgeon are now put on the endangered list. When pandas come off and the sturgeon fish come on. Basically, sturgeon are a open water or sea fish and also they go to spawn like salmon upstream. But they have dwindled in supplies. They have dwindled because they like salmon, they go exact to the same place every year. And the Yangtze has like, doesn't have these fish jumps to especially at the Three Gorges, which is the first dam near enough directly on the Yangtze River. Therefore, they can't spawn, not in the mood, angry, they are becoming extinct. 
because the dam is so high at 185 meters above sea level, the sturgeon basically have nowhere to go. There is a 10 year or supposedly a 10 year ban on, sorry, there is a 10 year ban on the stern, on actual fishing in the Yangtze, so destroying people's lives or the fishermen for years now and suddenly can't. What are these poor people going to do? Controllable fishing <coughs> is the answer, but China doesn't do controllable fishing. Any fish will do and any fish they will sell. It needs to be regulated. Here's an article from Black Jack, what I believe is the Free Georgia Dam has lost power generation partially to sedimentation. It possibly could be so, like any dam. Obviously there are going to be filters, but last year I think it, the you could say the power output or the generators or the turbines, unless there's a lot of cleaning and there's a lot of garbage still underneath the dam even from last year, stuff we can't see, 185 meters deep, wow, is going to. and is going to cause the sedimentation all the way up this 600 kilometer reservoir. So yeah, I would agree with you there, unless they have an amazing cleaning system. And now these turbines are on, I could well imagine they're on 24 seven at full power is until the energy crisis, and you really could actually call it an energy crisis in China is resolved. Just go and get the coal from Australia. It would solve it all. But it won't happen because it's a face value issue. The rain has just started to come. A, another comment is solar farms, are they a supplement to the power supply? A very small supplement, I'm afraid, Stephanie. And here's a really cute panda solar plant, power plant, in China. Enjoy. Okay, breaking away from the Three Gorges Dam, what is the cost of living here in Siam Rip? Well, let's just say the other day I went to the supermarket and I spent $100 on the things that we need. I spent $40 on cat food, that's per week. I what else and maybe like 20 30 40 dollars on in the wet market where you buy your meat fish vegetables and of course potatoes cars are incredibly expensive a car in america for 20,000 brand new would cost about 30 to 35,000 because of the tax motorbikes are relatively cheap gasoline is about one dollar per liter for the gold level for example um, housing, well, this one is two bedroom, three bedroom house, sorry, three, two bedroom, three bathroom house uh, is like 55,000 cash, so that's very cheap compared to that. If you do smoke a box of cigarettes, for example, would cost you about eight to ten dollars, depending on the brand. If you want a bottle of whiskey like Jim Beam, that will cost one litre for eleven dollars. Uh, the electricity is quite expensive. Um, I, if you rent a place, they usually charge 25 cents per unit. Here, because this is my place, it's a lot cheaper and it's like 20, maybe 15 cents, just over about 15 cents per unit. Electronics, um, well, Let's say the air conditioning right above me. I, it cost us for a one horsepower unit LG, brand new, latest technology, um, about 370. So it swings and roundabouts, but you could buy, oh, if you rent a place, well, you can get an apartment with a swimming pool for about 300, but that may not have a backup generator or with no, gen, with no swimming pool and a generator for 300. It can go up a lot higher, depends on your budget, but again, compared to the West, those kind of things are a lot cheaper. How much can you live on? Well, 
if you're really tight, possibly about 700 per month. But a thousand to one thousand five is a comfortable level, and that's for everything going out, ordering food, etc. So I hope that helps. How much is the cost of living here? Now, what's happening with the mugs? Well, I spoke with my main man in Florida, USA, and what we decided is that this is not confirmed, but I'm going to be selling that at $15 each, a mug that you saw on the show, not this mug. This one is going to the subscriber when I get to 50,000 subs, uh, subs. Now, the money is not going to me. We have decided charitable to give the profits of the mug, so after the cost of my American friend, to go to a children's home, to a children's charity, and I will make a big video about this. So if we raise, for example, $500, $1,000, whatever it is, this money, we will go and buy food, we will buy rice, maybe some books, some pens, some clothing, some shoes, whatever we can for that. We're not going to give the charity cash directly because more often than not, this may go in someone's back pocket for a couple of dollars. We're just going to buy the goods for the kids so they can, for a space of time, have a better life or have some shoes or some slippers or some flip-flops on them. So that's what happening with the coffee mugs. Thank you so much for all the interest of it. And when will this be happening? Well, hopefully next month. Hopefully next month, it's just a step-by-step, -step, but that's what we decided. So it's a charitable cause and $15. Hey, that's not much, is it? Hey, thank you very much. Okay, near enough the end of today, I am going to leave you. I'm sort of doing this at the same time live because I really like this comment. And this is sort of like no real award, but I just like it. And it's this one. Um, can I read it? Not really, no. Oh, ooh, just too sexy, just pretty silk, love silk. Did your dear lady find that tattered old rag for you? Darn, James, yes, the so bloody rich, rich the state of mind. <laughs> um, D, thank you very much for the comment. That actually brings us to a close for today. As always, a subscribe, like, share, join membership, the Patreon, and of course the mugs are coming soon. Main is going to be in America first, I'm afraid, because we're not too sure about international shipping. That's just a step, but hopefully we can do international a little bit later on. Bye-bye for now. Thank you. Cheerio.